anybody who's seen the images on our TV, watched the news, seen social media, will be heartbroken what we're seeing in India, where our brothers and sisters are catching the virus and some are losing their uh, lives. I want to pay tribute to BAPS Sri Swami Narayan Mandir in Neesden for once again stepping up to help those who need our help. It's been amazing to see uh, the congregation cycling to raise awareness and to raise funds for our brothers and sisters in India. I'm not surprised though because BABS, as long as this mother has been in London, has been leading by example. I want to make this point though, none of us is safe from this virus until all of us are safe. There is just no ethical, moral way that we can stand by and see COVID rip through India the way it has. The Mandir has stood up for us in the UK, for everybody, and is standing up for India. So it's been a pleasure to do a few uh, thousand miles, I'd say, <laughs> on the bike to help raise money. Well, it's obviously a fantastic thing that BAPS and the Swamarayan Temple are doing to raise money uh, for folk back in India who are facing a desperate uh, state, as we know. Thank you to all the volunteers that have organised this event. Thank you to all the hundreds of volunteers who are coming to ride the bicycles to get us, what, the 7,600 kilometres from London to New Delhi. I know that BAPS as an organisation will make sure that every penny raised is used in the most appropriate way for the most emergency basis that they can. Just talking to my constituents, I know, like me, many are shocked at what they're seeing in India. and Their heart has gone out um, to the people of Gujarat in particular, where many of my constituents um, have family. Um, but looking at across India, we want to make a difference. And uh, it's right that the community come together here at BAPS to support the fundraising effort that's, uh, that's going on, to try to support oxygen and other needs in hospitals in, uh, in India. It's the right thing to do, um, but it's also in our national self-interest to help to protect the people of India and stop the spread, the further spread of COVID. The film that's been coming out of India in the last couple of weeks, just devastating, seeing people literally dying on hospital floors, not able to get oxygen, not able to get hospital beds, traveling from one hospital to another, trying to get treatment. Um, and so many instances when they've not been able to to get that treatment have lost their lives. Uh, just the pain, the raw pain, it just has been so traumatic to see other human beings suffering like that. And I think it's natural instinct to want to help. Um, and when I found out about this cycle, it's all I can do to help. So raising money with BAPS. And when I um, found out about this initiative, I said, I'm absolutely gonna embark on this. I think that if there is any way that I could help uh, an institution, I mean, uh, BAPS is, I know where the funds are going. I know that they are opening up their doors in India. Um, their uh, sabhas, their, their, their rooms, their halls are all being opened for extra beds, for oxygen, for medical supplies, for support, everything from emotional support. I mean, we always forget that emotional support is extremely important. Being there as human beings for each other. I mean, it was a no brainer. I had to be here. <laughs> I had been to India many times when I was younger. I'm absolutely devastated to see what the crisis that they're in at the moment. I think whatever we can do to help this terrible situation, I think globally we all need to come together. Um, I mean, I'm my family are from Gujarat and it's just heartbreaking some of the things we've seen. And I know that BAPS, every penny people donate will go directly to the cause. So I really urge people, any amount will help. This is the time India really needs you.